Welcome to our lecture online. There are several ways in which we can calculate the wavelength or frequency of a photon either being absorbed or emitted when an electron jumps from a lower to a higher or from a higher to a lower orbit in a hydrogen atom. But let's use the equation that we derived in the, free, in the previous video where we're using the right Bohr constant defined right here. And so here we also realize that to keep the sign always positive for the wavelength, we can use the equation like this when a photon is emitted. Emitted mean that, a that an electron falls from a higher orbit down to a lower orbit. And we have to reverse the order of these if we're dealing with a, an absorbed photon in the case where the electron jumps from a lower orbit to a higher orbit. We just do that so that the sign remains a positive sign. It de definitely what we want is we want the absolute value of the energy difference and we realize that there's energy released and energy absorbed depending upon which way the electron travels. So we're going to use the second equation in this case because the electron is going to jump from the first orbit to the second orbit from n equals 1 to n equals 2 and we want to know the wavelength of the photon associated with such a jump. Using the equation right here, we can write that 1 over lambda is going to be equal to the Rydberg constant, which is 1.097 times 10 to the 7th per meter. And notice that since it's 1 over the wavelength, we have 1 over meter in the equation. And then this is simply a constant, 1 over the initial n squared. So that would be 1 over 1 squared minus 1 over n final, which is 2 squared. So in this case, we have 1 over lambda is equal to 1.097 times 10 to the 7 per meter. And then here we end up with a 1 minus 1 quarter, which is, of course, 3 quarters. So 3 quarters times that number. So we end up with uh, 1.097 e to the 7th times 0.75. That gives us 1 over lambda is equal to 8227500 per meter. And of course, we're not looking for 1 over lambda, we're looking for lambda. So lambda is going to be the inverse of that. So we find the inverse, and it's going to be 121.5 nanometers, which is 121.5 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. If you like that format better, but that's how we find the wavelength of the photon during electron transitions in a hydrogen atom. Now that's of course using this equation, that's what we call it method one. On the next video we'll show you a different method to find the, the energy or the, I should say the wavelength of the same transition by actually calculating the energy difference between the levels and converting that to the wavelength of a photon. So you're interested, stay tuned and we'll show you method two.